Hi there. Following a very wet weekend in places, there are significant changes on the way this week to drier conditions across the whole of the UK. But we're not quite out of the woods yet, because although brighter skies are expected for the rest of today, we'll also see further showers or longer spells of rain. It will feel colder as well, compared to the exceptionally mild start to the day across some southern and southeastern parts of the country. But uh, like I say, brighter skies, some sunshine expected, especially in the south and the east. Further west, that's where a lot of showers are moving through during Monday afternoon or longer spells of rain brought in by a stiff wind which is making it feel cold out there, particularly near any showers, gusts up to the 40s miles an hour around coastal areas and around any showers, uh, particularly brisk there through the Bristol Channel. Making it feel cold and those temperatures have peaked already in some parts of the country. They're dropping away through the rest of the day. So these are the actual temperatures at three o'clock rather than the daily maximum. Now the rainfall uh, gets more prolonged, I think, across parts of the country, Northern Ireland, into northwest England, especially during the evening. And that wet weather falling on top of saturated ground following the very high rainfall totals that we saw through the weekend. And so there's the risk of further disruption and further flooding for northwest England in particular, rain warning in force for the second half of Monday. The wet weather pushes its way northeastwards overnight and well, it's cold enough for some flakes of snow, I think, over these Scottish mountains. In addition, we'll see another spell of wet weather pushing into southwestern and southern parts of Wales, southwest England, and again, chance of some snow over the tops of the Brecon Beacons, I suspect, as that pushes in. And that wet weather pushing its way eastwards overnight. By dawn, it's wet in the southwest, but clear in the east of England. And enough of a breeze, I think, in most places to keep it frost free, but uh, not nearly as mild as it was as we started Monday, those temperatures around the mid single figures. We've got this northwesterly airflow across the country at the moment. High pressure is waiting to build in from the middle of the week, but Tuesday is another day of unstable conditions, I think, across the country with further showers or longer spells of rain and certainly some wet weather there clearing through the Midlands, central southern England and then by lunchtime East Anglia in the southeast. But it does get through and then brighter skies once again follow with further showers in the north and the west, one or two reaching their way to eastern England. But by uh, the end of the afternoon it's drier in the east and those showers mainly affecting western areas. Again a gusty breeze making it feel on the cold side and uh, temperatures well, even lower compared to Monday, we're looking at 9 or 10 Celsius. So that's significant change to brighter but colder weather expected as we start this week. And then clear skies for many as we end Tuesday. Potential for frost overnight as high pressure builds in, those showers eventually dying away. Drier, brighter weather on the way from the middle of the week, a relief for those areas that were particularly soggy through the weekend. We'll keep you updated as ever on social media. Bye-bye.